Today I'm going to be talking to you about the OccuPoint release technique where I use a tennis ball to massage the body on specific acupressure points and I'm going to be adding a therapeutic stretch to it and we're going to be getting into that right now. Welcome back friends and if this is your first time my name is Ashley Osher I'm the posture specialist and if you are interested in improving your posture decreasing pain and enhancing your overall wellness make sure to subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified when I upload my next video I want to give a shout out to my followers in Egypt hey guys thank you for following I really appreciate you and I hope you really enjoy this video make sure to leave a comment for me and let me know what you guys are doing with your posture in Egypt. I love to hear it, okay? Today is a follow-up video from the calf stretching video I did previously. I will leave that link up here so that you can check that out after you finish watching this video. I'm gonna be showing you the OccuPoint release technique for the calf. It's a specific acupressure point that we're gonna be stimulating to help to open up that calf muscle to relax it to break up any adhesions or knots it is called urinary bladder 57 and it is along the urinary bladder pathway the urinary bladder pathway starts in the inside of the eyes it goes over the head down on either side of the neck either side of the spine twice zigzags up and down through the sacrum and then goes down the backs of the legs to the pinky toe. So anything along that line is going to be impacted by and can be impacting other areas that are associated with that pathway. And we are going to be also adding a therapeutic stretching application to it. So it's a little bit of a progression off of what I did in the last video. It's not the same thing, it's a completely different kind of a stretch, but I'm adding the OccuPoint release technique just to give you a taste of the OccuPoint release technique. I do have some other videos for that. I will put a playlist for that at the end of this video that you can check out. Now, if you have seen any of my other videos that talk about the acupoint release technique or talk about the meridian pathways in the traditional Chinese medicine system, you will know that I liken the pathways to the freeway system. If we have traffic on the freeways in the meridian system, we see that as tension, knots, injury, infection, anything like that is going to be reflected as a lack of free flow, right? And when we're in traffic, we want to have free flow. We do not like traffic. If we have accidents on the freeway in the body, we are going to see that as an injury or we're gonna see that as pain. We're gonna see that as like a big knot, okay? So we want to free up that tension. We want to release any blockages. We want everything to be nice and free flowing. If there's any kind of debris or toxins inside the body alongside those pathways, we want to clean that up. So this is one way that you can access the point, help to clear out any debris that is in the calf area that's causing pain or causing injury, causing weakness, causing any kind of a postural discrepancy in the lower half of the body we want to be able to utilize the acupoint release technique to help with this. Now there are intermediate and advanced progressions for the acupoint release technique on each point that we stimulate, but I'm just going to be teaching you the basic today to make it nice and easy. I want you to get yourself a tennis ball, get yourself a pair of leggings or a pair of shorts, and let's get to the floor. For our purposes, I'm going to be showing you this practice sideways, but 
a lot of you are not going to be able to sit straight without some kind of support behind your back. So I want you to know that you can sit against the wall and I will give you a little quick demonstration of that so that you have it. You can either have a bent knee or you can have a straight leg, however that works best for you. Either way is fine. We're going to take the ball and we're going to place it in between the two heads of the gastrocnemius. Okay, and you will feel it if you press your knee down into the floor. And we want to make sure that we're at our three lock mountain. Three lock mountain at all times. Remember everything that we do on this channel that talks about some kind of activity, some kind of fitness exercise, a stretch, whatever that is. We want to be starting in the three lock mountain. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to post it up here for you so you can check that out. The three lock mountain is the best exercise and stretch that you can be doing to improve your posture. You do it 24 seven and you will be making postural corrections. Okay, so you definitely want to make sure that you are doing the three lock mountain in everything that you do. We're pressing the knee down into the ball and the foot is just straight. It's just relaxed. I'm not doing anything with the foot yet. I'm just pressing the knee down into the ball. Okay, so I'm going to feel that. If you want to, you can do a loose fist. As long as you're able to stay in your three lock mountain. I don't want the shoulders to come up like so. Nice and lifted. You can also have the hands flat as long as you're nice and lengthened and you're still able to press the knee down into the floor and lengthen through your spine. Okay, nice and strong through the core muscles. And then what we're going to do is what I call windshield wiping. The foot is going to go side to side. You're staying on the ball with it in between the two heads of the gastrocnemius. That's going to be on your urinary bladder 57 point. Okay. So what is that doing? When you have the tennis ball on the acupressure point, it's pressing up in between the muscle. It's spreading the two heads apart so it's giving you a micro stretch so we're dealing with stretching at a micro level so micro stretching I talked about that in my last stretching video so you can check that out at the same time you are accessing that acupressure point so it adds a therapeutic component to it which is absolutely phenomenal then when you add the movement to it you are angling in to help break up adhesions and congestion and stagnation. If there is a knot there, just at that basic level, it's going to add a cross fiber technique to it. So you are helping to break up the knot, loosen it up a little bit. You are gonna feel your quad working as you do this. So there is some muscle engagement that's taking place. Some of you may find that this is very, very painful. I want you to meet yourself where you're at. This is not meant to be brutally painful, but I am accessing specific points that I find that are usually congested for most people. So most people have traffic in this urinary bladder 57 point. So you are likely to feel some tenderness or a lot of tenderness in this area, even at this basic level. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to pump the toes. So we're gonna bring the toes towards the body and then we're going to point away from the body. So I'm still pressing, I'm not bending this knee, I'm pulling towards the body and I'm pointing away from the body. Staying nice and engaged here, three lock mountain, if it's too much for you, sit up against the wall, okay? If the shoes get in the way, you can take the shoes off and you can be barefoot. Pointing and pulling, pointing and pulling, okay? So we have windshield wiping 
and we have pumping where you're going to point and pull. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to just start to lean forward. I'm not going to round forward because that's not going to help me. I want to lean forward nice and straight. Just lean forward and that's all I'm going to do. If you want, you can hold on to your knee, just kind of pulling yourself forward a little bit. So you're just going to pull yourself forward and you're going to pump. Point and then pull. Point and pull. When I teach my classes, sometimes I will have my students raising their arms and lengthening forward. Point, pull. Point, pull. Now, the goal is not necessarily to be touching your toes, okay? We are just focusing on lengthening the back of the leg, lengthening through the calf, spreading the heads of the gastrocnemius apart, doing the micro stretching, and then adding that therapeutic component to it by pressing into the acupressure point. This technique is really, really phenomenal, and I want to encourage you guys to give it a try. Leave me comments down below, share this with your friends and your family. Make sure to follow me on my other social media platforms. I've got a Patreon membership platform that you guys can check out, especially for seniors. If you know of any seniors who would like an online platform that they can get specialized help with, especially in terms of helping them to be sustainable, functional, independent with their living and also working with chronic pain issues and helping to recover from injuries. Definitely have them check that link out. If you're looking to set up an appointment with me for a corrective session, you can check out my appointment request link in the drop box down below as well. Make it a posture perfect day and I will see you in one of my next videos. Happy posturing.